generation and especially the one burning you know still fossil fuels has a has a, a role to play in today's you know uh, vision of the future because uh, we talk about lots of renewables we see implementation of a wind and power you know everywhere but as we are noticing and we are learning these uh, energies are not always available and not always providing all the demand you know that uh, the system still requires so for these cases and in these situations you still need very reliable power that you can switch on when required to fill you know that gap today this is still something that is provided by you know uh, fossil fuel if you all technology and gas turbine was one of them. I mean combined cycles, uh, big combined cycles used to do that in the past or still doing that with uh, relatively high efficiencies. Cogeneration can do similar, the similar effect if you want with a lot higher efficiencies uh, being more distributed in the territory so avoiding you know efficiency losses so it still has something to play and I think it will be in the future doing so. That 100% renewable vision is, is a challenge. It's a big challenge and we're going to see lots of changes still to get there. Uh, gas turbines can play in many, in many ways. One of the ways that it plays, first of all, is providing you know, system reliability and resiliency so that we can close the gap when energy is not being produced by uh, you know, massive uh, renewable power. But also uh, gas turbines are, are also able to produce power, not only burning fossil fuels, but other kind of fuels, you know, uh, methane, uh, biomethane gases, you know, other kind of uh, processed gases, uh, including hydrogen. So we still see, you know, uh, a role for this kind of technology in, in this world. One of the things in which uh, OEMs are investing on gas turbines is combustion systems. So we can, we can be, we can play a role in the transition phase. First, because we can still use uh, natural gas, which is a fossil fuel, but one of the uh, best fossil fuels uh, with high efficiency use like we do. But also we can use because our systems, uh, combustion systems can be retrofitted, can be modified to accommodate other fuels, as I said before, like biomethans, you know, or high content of, you know, some content of other gases in, in the natural gas. We have currently installations running with, uh, you know, high hydrogen content, like co carbon gases in many places. So we will help it. We believe we can help in the transitioning into a more renewable world. And I think we have still a role to play in that world, you know, with different fuels and different, you know, operating modes, if you want.